EC2 X2GD, another homegrown variant of, uh, of the Graviton family, has gone GA. This should be a quick one, too, because this is really something we talked about a while back. But now it is available and it continues, by the way, all that arm talk. This is uh, this is where this uh, the rubber meets the road. Yeah, by the way, what I, what I really appreciated was that uh, this was launched uh, very similarly around uh, when AMD Epic uh, third generation uh, was launched. And uh, you know, yeah, exactly. And we know that uh, <laughs> Ice Lake from Intel is coming up. But essentially, uh, uh, Amazon has a, Amazon has built a um, their own homegrown general purpose processor. They do a lot of their own process. This is general purpose, competes with uh, Epic uh, and, and Xeon. They're on their second generation. But it's not just about the processor, right? It has to be married up with uh, different uh, memory levels uh, and networking. And and what uh, X2G, sorry, X2GD are memory optimized uh, instances. And the value proposition is delivering up to 55% better price performance compared to current generation X86, X1 instances. So hard comparison to, to uh, what they're doing uh, versus uh, Intel. And uh, what does memory intensive mean? Hey, it's databases. It's uh, MySQL, Postgres. It's in-memory databases, Redis, Memcached. Uh, it's EDA workloads, real-time analytics, caching servers. Uh, it is no longer tiny, teeny, tiny uh, little streaming applications that uh, were supported on uh, first generation uh, uh, Graviton. So this is Graviton growing up uh, and going GA at the same time that Epic uh, uh, came out, which uh, is pretty awesome. Like I said, competition is good for everybody, lowers costs, increases innovation.